What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking the roof and possibly the doors off of the Bronco for the very very first time. But the car is completely dirty right now. We're going to give it a quick wash and then we'll be able to easily remove all the panels and have some fun with the doors and roof off. Let's do it. For this task we're using some of the best Jack's Wax to defend. We're going to open it up first of course. And then, get it going. Let's do it. It's not that dirty, but it's better to be clean than kind of nasty. All right, so now with the car nice and clean, let's go ahead and uninstall the first two roof panels over the driver and passenger side of the car. They're gonna be this one and this one, which are the only two that we can do solo. So I'll try to capture this the best I can for you, but if I can't do a good job, let me show you exactly what we gotta do. This latch right here, this latch right here, they come down first. So we're gonna pull down the windscreens one, two. So then we're gonna slide these two. Woo! Drippy, drippy. We're gonna slide this one over, this one over, this one, this one, and that one. And we should just be able to push this off and take it off. So I'm gonna put you back down on this ladder that I'm using as a makeshift tripod, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this roof panel off. All right, let's see if I can do this. Easy peasy. Look at that. That is a Bronco roof panel right there. And it's a little dirty, so we're gonna put it over here. Now let's do the other one. And there we go, there's number two. So now with the roof panels off, we can see into the driver and passenger side. For the next two, we need some help, so let's go get Mr. Jeremy. Well, this is pretty cool. I can go, hello world, hello sun, hello moon. I can't wait to see what it's like when those other two panels come off. Hi, Jeremy. Hello. Are you ready to help me? Sure. So all we got to do with this one, are there more latches? I think there's one, two, three, and then these two. So you pull this one down, and then slide them over. And then I think we just lift it off. All right, let's see how this works. The little video Ford made said two people can do this, so let's see. So I believe you just go to the other side, put one hand on the inside, push up, and then we'll just carry it over the back here. Oh, the top is hot. Okay. There we go. Ta-da! One dirty hard top. Let's put it down. Now for the hard one. So for this last piece, it's a little more complicated, but not really much. It's something that you can still do by yourself. You see the helper taking it off. Ford actually gives you a nice little toolbox with the Bronco included with this little tool and many other little cool things you could use. But there are 10 bolts, I believe, that you need to get off. Let me show you where they are. So we've got one, two, three, four on each side. One, two, three, four. These two things get taken off. And then there's one more right there. So very, very easy. We'll go ahead and take them out real quick and then get this last part of the roof off. Ooh, I shatter the window. All right, one side done, 
One more side to go. Another cool thing about this pouch they give you is that they have like two storage things to put the bolts for the roof and the bolts for the door. So we can just zip this up and not have to worry about losing them. Next thing we're gonna unplug these two guys, plug them into their respective holes in the actual trunk itself, and then it'll be time for lift off. There's that one. There's a little button on this side, comes right out. Put these here so they don't break. And we're good. Let's get this roof off. So now I watched the Ford video and they said to leave this part up. So that's what we're gonna do. We're both gonna go on each side again, put one hand on the inside, one hand on the outside, lift it off and put it on our little makeshift pallet over here. Whoops, forgot to record that part, but we were just testing something and it worked. These bolts, we thought we had to take these ones out too. Oh. And it didn't say it in the video, but these like, they didn't come out. So we just tried to lift it off and it worked. Wow. It's a, it's a fire. So now we got the top completely removed. This looks super cool. All the bolts are back in here. We're gonna have to go ahead and throw this in the glove box. And then we're actually going to use the bag that they gave me with the car to try to store the front two roof panels and see how easy that is as well. So let's put this here and put this in the glove box. All right, we're gonna try to put this in the little bag they gave me. We'll go ahead and open it up. Slide it in. And then there's a little divider that they give us. Put the divider in there. Put it in the same way. It doesn't really specify which way you're supposed to put them in, but I feel like it should fit it either way. It's seeming to go pretty good right now. Hmm. I don't think that's gonna fit. Maybe we'll try it a different way. Okay, we're putting it in the opposite way now. We're gonna put that in like that, and then the flat side on the bottom, and then the curved side pointing down this way because it's curved on this side, and it's flat on this side. So let's see if this one works. how to do this okay try again all right take 100 let's see if this way works I'm determined to do it one man army because the dude in the Ford video could do it so I can do it there's one all right and then it looked like the dude put it in this way Man. Did we do it? Oh, did I do it? Victory! <laughs> I gotta put it in somehow. See the things down here. And one more over here. And then you tie it behind the headrest. Can you pull that over your headrest, Jeremy? Yes. And you tighten it up. That should be good. That was really hard. All right, now that we got everything off and stowed away, let's see how it looks on the road with no top.
All right, I don't currently have the heart to take the doors off right now, but maybe after I sleep on it, I'll be inspired to do it. But for the rest of the day, we're gonna drive around with the roof off. I really like the way it looks. Probably grab some Instagram reels, some photos. But man, it's looking like a real off-road machine now. That is so sick. The next day. All right, we are on the highway. It's the next day. I love this, but you can't talk on the phone. You probably can't hear me. It's just like it being in a convertible. So, good to know, good to know. I'm gonna put you down now. Y'all, so we just did some normal back side road testing and on the regular highway once again with the windows up it's pretty bearable and you can have a conversation with each other i'm not talking extremely loud but it's doable but right now we got exciting news we're going to pick up the custom plates i ordered over two years ago for this car so we're getting into downtown houston right now hopefully this doesn't take too long but look at our beautiful city we're back home that was not very painful we were in and out in 11 minutes so shout out to the downtown houston tax office for getting us in and out very quickly but now it's the big reveal what is the broncos custom license plate well we have the hoopty on the supra and now for the bronco introducing the whoopty that's right so we have the a&m plate because i'm a current a&m student that's a big tradition for them, the whoop and hoopty put together. So let's get this on. Easy peasy. Welcome to the family, the whoopty. Well, we just put the plates on and we did a little photo shoot with Mason. I'll put some of the photos up on the screen as we're talking. But uh, we also did our first impromptu off-road session. Uh, we weren't on the pavement, so it counts, it counts. I'm going to put some videos up on the screen right now of us doing that. But uh, that just inspired me to do it more, man. I can't wait. They got me hyped. Well, now it's sadly come to that time of the weekend again. We can't be topless forever. We'll get arrested in public sometimes. But we're gonna put the roof back on now. We have enlisted the help once again of Sir Jeremy. This time he's wearing appropriate clothing for the occasion. And uh, yeah, you definitely need two people for this. So if you're watching this and be like, maybe I can do it with my dog, you cannot. So let's put this on, get her bolted back up and enjoy the rest of our weekend. Cold start. Woo! Just scooting up a tad for us. Good. That first one's almost actually perfect. There we go. That. Relatively easy. Yeah, like a, like a six. Easy. It is so heavy, you don't really think about it. And like, you, whew. All right, so that part's done. I'm gonna bolt them down super fast, and then uh, the rest of the stuff's easy peasy. That was the hardest part. Look at her putting in that work. You go, girl, you go. 
Say hi, Carrie. <laughs> Look at me, I'm handy too. Handy, handy. So we got them all tightened up. Now we got to move on to the easy stuff. Oh, there we go. So there's a little thing that goes in this hole. That's how you tell. And then we will latch it up and then latch these over. Oof. And we're good. There we go. Lean this up against your leg, Jeremy. Thank you. I don't like that bag that they give you. It's kind of annoying. All right, let's put these on and be done. Oh, same thing. You gotta pull this. Where is it? Right here, pull it down. And there's the same one of those little holes. Pull the lever, Kronk. There you go. You guys got it on. Oh, Trying at least. listen. Sticking out there. Oh, that goes through go. that okay. hole. There's something not right. Oh, yeah, no, no. Oh, okay. there we go. But it doesn't sound right. But I mean, whatever. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. There we go. And then one, two, three, and Yay. four. That was hard. <laughs> I suck at this. <laughs> but now we're good. It's done. <laughs> so there we have it. We're all done. We had a fun weekend with the roof off, but now we got both the cars chilling in the driveway we got the hoopty and now we got the whoopty i'll be driving this this week though so super fun to get that top off experience the weather's finally getting nicer and i feel like we got the uh the top back on in the proper fashion if it rains this week i'll find out the hard way but there we go man couldn't be happier super super fun but I'm gonna leave you guys right now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you used this video to take your top off for the first time, let me know in the comment section below. But if you did like the video, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel and wanna see more Bronco content. And I'll see you in the next video.